We were taught not to speak our language. My mother and my father did, didn't teach us the language. They taught us a few uh, animal words, and they taught us how to count to 10. And that was the limit that they thought they could, they could teach us. It was um, difficult, especially for, I'm thinking of my mom and my dad. Uh, you know, they, they knew there were certain things they should teach us and certain things that they were not allowed to teach us. And so they, they taught us the best they could. And they were brought up in, in boarding schools. And there's so, much, so many issues about boarding schools today. But, um, yeah, they didn't want us to go to boarding schools, you know, when we were at home. They wanted us to stay home with them. Uh, I think it would be so difficult. Can you imagine a five-year-old kid being taken from your parent and shoved into a different world? You know, it just, it, I think it's terrifying. You know, so much of uh, things that were taken away from us, um, I think made us stronger. You know, we, we wanted, the, wanted to teach these things to our younger people, and we're doing it now. You know, we may ha it just may have gone underground, but underground for just a while. And, and we're back. Uh, when things were taken away, uh, you know, and, and we were just little, there was always the culture. We, you know, we didn't have much money. We didn't, we, we, we lived with our cousins. You know, my mom had three sisters. And those cousins were just like our first family with us. And we were all taught, you know, there were certain things that we could do and certain things that we couldn't do. And uh, it was very strict for us. I don't think that a lot of us trust the written words. We'd rather, you know, learn by verbal words. We tell different stories for different purposes, but there's always, always a purpose for it. You know, you, like you don't, uh, we're taught, um, you know, we always had to be home by dark. You know, because during the dark was when the spirits would come out, the bad spirits come out. All of these things are traditional things that, that, that we teach our kids. I would think that the most important thing that I might have done is made it easier for our, our kids. Made it, they don't have to live the way that we did. You know, we didn't have running water, we didn't have electricity, but we were happy. But it's easier now for our kids. It's easier for those, you know, little ones that are growing up now. I, I have three kids. And myself, and I have 10 grandchildren, but I think I have like 13 great-grandchildren now. Oh, I think Muckleshoot will continue on. You know, there's no doubt in my mind that Muckleshoot will not continue on. We have so many people who, who treasure the tribe now, and they would like us to continue, you know, to give, show examples of what they can do. I think the tribe has done, you know, such a good job, you know, just, just keeping us informed and keeping us knowledgeable about what our, our ancestors used to do. And, you know, this land is, is precious to us because, you know, it is our land. None of us, you know, move away, you know, or if we're gone for a little bit, we always have to come home. This is, I can't imagine living any place. I've been all around the world, but I can't imagine living any place but here.